So the snow is finally gone in the woods. Not that we had a whole lot of snow to deal with this winter, but I've had a few eh, dozen or so windfalls over the winter that fell across the road to my woods lot and my camp. And uh, this one here is a, a nice big pine tree that blew down and it is uh, the, actually once the once the stump and the roots all thawed out, it had memory enough to stand back up. I'll show you. So this stump here, this was laying along a good sized log. There's one there. I'm gonna wait and get that the next trip. I've got enough logs on that ATV trailer for this load. The trick with this I've learned is not to try to cram them all the way up into the headboard, but to center them over the over the axles. And it'll carry all that I ask, but this is a good sized log. This log here is, oh, I don't know, 16 inches probably, more than. That's eight, 16, 20 inches, 20 inches. And I cut it off at eight foot six. And you can see how this stump laid down and all the roots had broken off. This was probably Hurricane Fiona. Be my, my guess anyway but it's a white pine i got four good logs out of it and it's just going to go to waste it would end up just laying in the woods for for rot so i cut the limbs off of it and left the limbs for rabbit habitat i'm going to spend a few days in the woods this week cleaning up this uh this mess and there's the top in there laying so i'm sure this is an all mismatched mess of camera action going on here today but so i've got five logs on there right now and i got the big pine on top just the way it worked out and i'm going to be heading out load this on my dump trailer and then come back in and fill that with soft wood logs i've got cut and then uh, take them home and then come back down and get some hardwood i'll probably keep this drive engaged on the way out it works really well it, it'll slow the the atv down it um, sticks everywhere, stuck in there. I think that the weakest link of this is going to be that spine, that three inch square tube that I'll probably have to change at some point. I'm strengthening it up. You can see it's, it's bowing with this weight on it. And it's probably not too much weight technically, but it's a lot to ask for it. So I've got my forestry bag, my chainsaw in its scabbard, my overnight bag. The knife I made, I keep a, a knife always on me for cutting tape or cutting lines, whatever. I keep the hydraulic power pack for that uh, ATV trailer right on board in the front. And I run it about a third throttle probably. I have the remote in my hand as I'm driving so I can engage the four wheel drive. The middle one turns, uh, engages the wheels. And this fellow right here, the far left one, is forward in reverse so it'll push the atv even when the atv is in park this atv weighs over a thousand pounds and it'll push it with the with this weight on it anyway it's got lots of traction and it'll it'll push this atv into the woods and upside down if i wasn't paying attention so anyway may as well get out I'd say that's the heaviest jag of logs I've had behind this ATV yet. It's about all it'll carry. I can put uh, this much weight behind my tractor with no problem, but the ATV is a lot lighter. It has more horsepower technically, but it certainly doesn't have more traction and it doesn't have more, more torque for pulling. So you'll see this pull away. I think it's really good for the road to take that ATV trailer and the ATV. The rear axle on that ATV um, sort of pivots and grinds the dirt up a little bit. So it, it helps take the high spots off. Um, takes a couple of trips in. I like it. It's a, it's a lot of fun to go uh, to the camp. It's three and a half kilometers probably from, from the road. So it's an effort. You're not, you're not making any speed. If we get any amount of snow, my other ATV, my old Suzuki King Quad, I could run that. Once you get a track made, you could run that at 30 kilometers an hour through the woods here 
like a slot car. This here is a little different. We haven't had any snow, of course, in the last couple of years either. So let's get this out and get it in the trailer. I've got about a oh, 40 minute ATV ride to get this out to the road. Gotta wonder if this is all worth it. Good thing it's fun.